John Rule, what day is it? It is the 6th of September, 2018. Let's see some photos. Uh, we are starting here with something uh, from the front of the Senior Center. It's a what kind of monarch? Um, it's a female monarch because uh -huh. well, it doesn't have the swollen places on its veins on the hind wing. Uh huh. And we'll see several shots of this one because I haven't got close to most of the ones I've seen passing. All right. So, what's this? Um, right offhand, I can't. It's a big, tall bush. Bladder, it's got a bladder type of. Yeah, now it's getting further away from you. Yeah. Yeah, no. it's, it's in my yard. Now here's an old house on 15th Street being torn down, ripped down, and I'm sure they're going to build some three-story house or something. Well, at <laughs> least they don't knock it to splinters like they did okay. that here's housing area. two neighbors passing. Yeah down there, you just have to see them at the same time. That's Sarah Marsh in that red car. Oh, I see. And uh, the other one's one He's very closer active. Neighbor. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, basket flower. Yeah. And Two basket flowers, I uh -huh. guess. Now, what is that thing? Well, that looks like a barred owl. A barred owl. That's what I was kind of trying to say was owl. Oh. <laughs> Of course. Well, I never thought of, you didn't say they were nocturnal. <laughs> well, this one is in my yard uh -huh. in the daytime. Well, they do that in town. And it They've was down to on, to town. on the ground. I guess yeah. it was trying to catch a stupid squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. Squirrels are active in my yard, so that might explain and it. They quote Robert Frost, whose woods these are, I think, I know. <laughs> His home is in the village, though. <laughs> Okay, recognize this. Well, it uh, looks it like it might be an orange gopher <laughs> or topher. Topher? T O P H E R, uh -huh. like that, but I don't know it. It's new to me. It's very tiny. And well, it's new to me, and it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful blood dragonfly, but uh, it's a great shot you got of it. And got more. <laughs> and here's a Big old, what do you call this kind of spider? That I just call it a garden spider, but there's another one, a fat one they call it, a garden spider that looks like a crab spider. Uh-huh. Okay. This uh, is growing downtown, close to the bank. And, that uh, looks exotic to me. <laughs> yeah, see how the, the ends of the right. things are spread they're like that? They're uh, split. Skinny trumpets. Yeah, it was two years ago that I, I first found these growing yeah. in, in Fayetteville. Uh -huh. And uh, now more people have been planting them, and I can't remember the name. Okay, that's goldenrod and some other flowers. And right. here's... Your box turtle. Uh-huh. I don't know... You think it might, might be a male, or maybe might be. an orangey or... Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's... I don't know. It's it's not a not a three toed, but anyway, it's just one of the many in my backyard. Well, I'm glad there are many. I'll tell you, <laughs> they've just really been popping out there. Okay, you see what's in the trap? It looks like a rockety coon child. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Well, we we have uh, taken three different ones, Lauren and I, on, on trips. Right way out uh, at least 20 something miles in different directions and mm -hmm. put them out and they happily run off because they're thrilled to get out of that box mm -hmm. but they just have lived in our house and terrorized us for a while yes they certainly can do that okay. until next time john until next time do your part see ya john rule what day is it the sixth of September 2018. And we've got some more photos of the big old owl in my yard. That's a beauty. And I thought I'd never see it occur again, but uh -huh. when I left uh, home, walked out, uh, he was on the ground in the yeah. backyard. An eight-hooter. 
Mm -hmm. And I suspect some squirrel is in great danger in my yard. Well, there are plenty you have plenty. We have enough to <laughs> go Lots around. Lots of rodents, uh -huh. for sure. It could feed a moderate-sized family of squirrel uh -huh. lovers. Not many people have the energy to get out and clean the squirrels these days. Right. But uh, anyway. That beautiful dragonfly again. Yeah, I had to show that again because I probably won't show see another one of those. Yeah, issues. you can't tell. Yeah. Very elaborate abdomen and all. It's great. Uh -huh. Touches of orange on the wingtips are great. Veins are clear, so clear you sure got a good camera. Okay, the uh, tree long, cricket. Well, he's a see lot his long stem going up in the air see the it goes up about a foot yeah so right long long antennae yeah and uh, he was on a uh, this uh, milkweed like, uh -huh. on the uh, that looks like a skipper we had a brief just brief yellow skipper brief. yeah and we got another he's looking owl. at you more than you are at him maybe yeah that thing was trying to stare me down the other day. He was up in the tree then, and, yeah. and I didn't know he'd be on the ground. Okay, you remember what kind of flowers these are? Well, touch me not, what you said. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, has a square stem and translucent, mm -hmm. and we crush it and you scrub it on our skin against poison ivy and stuff. Mm -hmm. And loves to be around water. And these, uh, saying. you have to reseed them because they, they they don't necessarily come back from the roots. Right, no. So that's what's going on here. This well, is the special swamp type of milkweed, milkweed going to seed. Absolutely. And here's the uh, goldenrod and, and another species there. And here's Vervacino virginica. And you can tell it's a... Uh, Looks like it has some kind of predatory fly on uh -huh. it. And do you know what to call those? That's on the mound at World Peace Wetland Prairie. That the in, in foreground or uh -huh, white stuff? No, I don't. I you know I, I don't can't remember. See foxtail grass. Yeah, the background. foxtail, other non-native and native things mixed on that yeah, right. mound right now. Okay, here's milkweed, yep, that's the right. kind that uh, will feed several monarch caterpillars. Is that Syriaca, uh -huh. common milkweed? Well, no, no, it's not, not common, no. But it is it's one of the big ones, and it has not bloomed this year. I'm hoping it's still going to bloom. Yeah, I had. But the rain has been so rare. Right. And we're just right now, as this we talk, we're talking about a chance of rain tomorrow and the next day. I hope so. Hope it won't be torrential. Okay, those those are things in the pea and bean family that I'm holding in my hand. All right. Now you're seeing tall grass, uh, way taller than I can reach All right. up to to get even near the top. All right. And that's uh, big blue stem grass, and it's it's one of the main prairie grasses that's all over the Midwest and so forth. All right. All right. And it's, uh, this is growing, like I say, way tall. I mean, my head is as tall as that bush mm -hmm. to the right. And this, this has done really well because it comes back from its deep roots. Yeah. And so it's there every year. We don't have to worry about it. But because of that deep root system it has, uh, we'll always find it in that right. spot, even in these years when it's not raining very much. On the con on, by contrast, some of these other plants that were, have been taller than it. Uh -huh. Okay, here's a different raccoon. One of the three that we captured see. and released right. at least 23 miles from home. That have a heart trap is a really nice thing. Yeah. And uh, 
they, you still have to be really careful once right. you get them in there because their little fingers will reach out and a friend of mine was caught skin. 17 white-footed mice in one of her small have a heart trouble. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I think they must just be coming into her house or uh -huh. so forth. Yeah, they can get in anywhere. And those raccoons were living in our house, and, and uh, now we've got them blocked out. And we've hopefully, we've got the squirrels blocked out of the house yeah. and so forth. Till next time, John. Till next time. Do your part to help it be a nice planet. See ya. <laughs>